do the ancient Olympian gods of ancient Greece say about the moon? According to a researcher, much has been said and written about the moon, whether or not it is an artificial spacecraft, to whom it probably belongs, who controls it and who inhabits, who inhabits it. And according to an earlier message from the Olympians, the moon comes from Bootis E, uh, that was sent to our solar system at a time of the great collision between Jupiter and Saturn, carrying very advanced technology to reinforce the apostates, but was captured by the forces of the seventh mission and was forced to orbit around Gaia, that is our Earth, in the year 26,174 BC. So that's over 28,000 years ago. The priests of the moon because they considered themselves gods and could not bear the restrictions, left it and arrived to Earth flying with their spacecraft so that they would not be noticed by the forces of the seventh mission, so that they would not be found, and they lived in caves. They collected the uh, recused remnants of the apostates and managed to reconstruct themselves through intrigues and precautions. They taught the people today of today the materialistic way of life and brought spiritual darkness. Quote, they were known as the moon men, selinanthropy for short in Greek, and were short in stature with a yellowish tinge and ethereal texture like realized shadows, end quote. And this was from a book by uh, Yerasmus Kalogerakis, a researcher on these things. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.